Hello friends! If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you are a fan or a subscriber, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. Today I will be talking about Pentecostalism, Latin America too. This will also involve Pentecostalism in the Caribbean. There's nothing more I need to say, so let's get on with the video. Dramatic growth has occurred in Central America, particularly in Guatemala, which has over 2 million Pentecostals, half of whom are Maya. The Assemblies of God is the largest non-Catholic denomination in Central America. In El Salvador, a Canadian missionary influenced by Parham introduced Pentecostalism in 1904. The missionary established a church in a remote area, which by 1927 had grown to several hundred members in 24 congregations. The two largest Pentecostal denominations in El Salvador today are the Assemblies of God and Church of God. The Assemblies of God was established in 1932. Oneness Pentecostalism is also big in El Salvador. From El Salvador, Pentecostalism spread throughout Central America, first to Honduras and Guatemala. The Pentecostal churches in Guatemala emphasize spontaneity and spiritual authority. Most churches were founded by Guatemalans with no foreign patronage. These churches appeal mostly to the affluent middle class. Mexico has over 150 denominations, the first of which was founded in 1912, after which the Oneness Church spread all over Mexico. Swedish missionaries founded the two largest Pentecostal movements in Mexico. From one movement emerged the largest Pentecostal denomination in Mexico, the Union of Independent Evangelical Churches, which mainly consists of uh, Tomi tribes. The second largest Pentecostal denomination in Mexico is the Assemblies of God, an independent district of the American Assemblies of God. The third largest is the Church of God. There is now a strong Catholic charismatic movement in Mexico. Pentecostals make up over one quarter of the population in Haiti, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico. Each island has its own specific history of Pentecostalism, which is tied to the U.S. but has unique local flavor. Puerto Ricans developed Pentecostalism in that U.S. territory. Juan Lugo converted to Pentecostalism in Hawaii in 1907 under missionaries from Azusa Street and went to Puerto Rico as a missionary sent by the American Assemblies of God. In 1921, he founded the largest non-Catholic denomination on the island, the Pentecostal Church of God of Puerto Rico. This denomination has sent missionaries to Latin America, the U.S., Portugal, and Spain. Missionaries from Puerto Rico have played a major role in the establishment of Pentecostalism throughout the Caribbean particularly in the Dominican Republic. Salomon Hinones, who had converted in 1913 in Hawaii, was the first missionary and arrived in the DR in 1917. The work was eventually taken over by the U.S. Assemblies of God. The Church of God of Prophecy and the Assemblies of God both started in 1940 and are the largest denominations in the Dominican Republic. Two missionaries from Argentina introduced Pentecostalism to Cuba in 1920. The Assemblies of God is now the largest non-Catholic denomination in Cuba. The Church of God is the largest Pentecostal denomination in Haiti and was established in 1934. In the English-speaking Caribbean, Church of God Cleveland 
is popular and is the largest Pentecostal denomination, followed by the Church of God of Prophecy. Rebecca and Edmund Barr converted in Florida in 1909 and returned to their home in the Bahamas, bringing the Church of God with them. The Church of God sent James Ingram to Bermuda in 1921, but the denomination was not established until 1938 when Ingram visited again while working in Mexico. Jamaica already had many Pentecostal churches whose origins are uncertain. A split occurred in 1935, which introduced the Church of God and the Church of God of Prophecy. The Church of God is now the largest Pentecostal denomination on Jamaica. There are, of course, more islands in the Caribbean, but these are the major ones that developed Pentecostalism. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to be notified when I come out with new content, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description. The Discord link should be fixed now. If not, just let me know. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not watched them, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Also, I am now taking requests. Please leave those in the comment section or you can email me or you can DM me on Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Goodbye, friends.